Hi guys. Um, today's thrift with me is going to be a little different because uh, my mom was in town for the past little while and I took the time off. I d we did go thrifting and I took a few little snippets here and there, not enough for a whole video. Um, while she was here, I just wanted to spend time with her. Uh, so I didn't get enough video. So today I'm playing catch up and I'm going to run into a local Goodwill. I'm here already behind me. Um, and I'm going to get a few little snippets here. Um, but I'm going to go back to the other Goodwill where I got the other snippets too as well. Um, and you know, kind of finish off that video, round off that video. And yeah, I think I'll do a car haul just in the essence of saving time so that I can get this video up in time for you tomorrow. Uh just because I'm trying to play catch up this week. <laughs> and let's see, am I looking for anything specific? I am looking for another little end table. I have a hair in my mouth every time. It's my own hair, you know, obviously, but <laughs> um, I'm looking for another end table that would coordinate and is of the same size as the end table that I made over for Flippin' Friday. Um... Other than that, I'm really looking for, you know, some nice linens, um, pillow, always the vintage pillowcases or sheets. Um, I don't know, just vintage rolling pins, that kind of thing. You guys know my taste. I like the, the country cottage or English cottage style, but I'm not like over the top with it. Um, so anyway. That is what I'm looking for, and let's go in and go thrifting, shall we? Hi friends, I'm at Goodwill. We are thrifting today. Um, I've got my mom with me, so I'm going to try to do this without having to do a separate haul at the end. So maybe I'll do a car haul so I can save time with my mom. So let's thrift. So right off the bat, I found this gorgeous little plate. I'm not exactly sure what this is used for, but I thought it was beautiful. It's almost time for strawberry season. My strawberry patch is going strong and I'm really excited about it. Check out these little bowls. I thought they were so neat with their handles. Um, I don't do bowls or dishes with any kind of plating on them because my kids will throw them in the microwave every time. <laughs> These little dishes right here, I see all the time, and I also see them all the time, all over Instagram. I'm not sure what the draw is on them, but the, I do think they're pretty. This right here was a regret. I wish I would have picked this up for Robin. Oh my goodness, what was I thinking? I obviously wasn't, but it was beautiful. Now I'm heading into my favorite shelf at this Goodwill. It is also the most anxiety driven shelf because you will notice that everything is just piled on top of everything and it's all glass and I can't believe some of this stuff survives in here. You'll get to see it in just a second, but man, it, it gets my anxiety up. <laughs> but I try and I really like this spot. This is where I find a lot of treasures in this spot like this yellow art glass. Isn't this gorgeous? Um, I'm sure I could probably, I have sold some really pretty art glass and made a really good profit on it on my 
Etsy, uh, but I just, Etsy is just not my favorite thing in the world to do. I do have stuff to list, but it's very time consuming and I'd rather just be out thrifting and hanging out with my family, you know? That picture back there is not ironstone. I did check it out, just not while I was on camera because it was just too much. I couldn't hold my camera and dig through that, but um, it wasn't ironstone. But check out this Snoopy bank. Oh, Snoopy. And then I had to have my mom help me hold up this um, hooked rug. Isn't this amazing? There is so much time put into this and the variegation and the sky. Oh my goodness. It was just beautiful. And these two little handmade pieces I thought were darling. They were like ombre gray and white. They were so pretty. And here I was lucky enough to find a Wexford vase. I did not pick it up because I use my milk glass vases as well as my ironstone pitchers for my florals. So I left this one behind. This I thought would be so cute if we just took the little dip cup out. I looked at it really closely and it's just wired in there and then used it as a tray for your decor on your coffee table or whatnot, it would have been perfect. Whoops. <laughs> I loved this basket. Just the color I thought was really neat. Um, it wasn't a very heavy duty basket, if you know what I mean. It was very lightweight. So I left this one behind as well. And plus I just, I don't need that basket, but check it out. More ironstone, you guys. I have been running across ironstone everywhere. And there was a ton of heritage today too. This pattern right here is not heritage. Um, I don't know what that is, but it's not heritage. It could be ironstone. I'm not sure. Uh, but there was a lot of heritage here today as well. And this is the new pattern that I've been picking up and I believe it's called Stratus, but if you look, there's the covered sugar and creamer there. Didn't pick those up either. I always have to check out these, what are they, carafts? I'm just gonna call it a craft. <laughs> um, but I loved the handle on this. I thought it was beautiful. And here's an old Gemco sugar container. Who remembers those? I think they're so neat. And check out, the, somebody got rid of their entire salt and pepper collection because check out, there's so many unique salt and pepper, salt and pepper shaker collections. I'll spit it out. I can't believe this is the first thermos I have found in the wild that wasn't in like an antique shop and it's the pump kind and I don't collect thermoses so I didn't pick this one up but I did think it was really neat and I really had fun finding it. Do you see that heritage there? I was a good girl I didn't get it. I have, I have three of those I think. 
and they take up so much room so I did not get that one but I thought these paper roses or I guess they're silk roses were really pretty I didn't like how they were arranged or in the pot but I thought they something could be done better with them those copper cookie cut cutters are still here and I love the feet on this little brass plant dish Okay, who can tell me, is this strictly a decor piece for like hanging on the wall? I'm not sure, and I don't even know if it's old, but I thought it was beautiful. I just, I really thought it had a really nice patina and it was just striking. I'm always interested in looking at these little horses, especially if none of the legs are broken. They remind me of my daughter, Allie. She has my great-grandfather's collection. It took me a minute to figure out what these were between the glare from the lights on the plastic on the inside. And before it took me a while to realize that they were little hula girls. Here's another one of those lamps that would be so perfect for making over. Um, I actually like it white just the way it is, but um, they're so in style right now, the big chunky lamps. And I think these prints were really, really pretty. Um, a little too uh, yellow for my taste. And then there was these gold pictures in the back. I believe, I can't remember. But I believe Goodwill, no, I guess they were only $2.99. Um, I thought they were marked up, but I guess they weren't. It was just a little waste sticker on the back. And this dresser has been there for a few days, and it's only $29.99. And it was in really good shape. It's missing a handle, but that was it. Look at this amber glass decanter. It is ginormous. It was over two feet tall. Um, and I can't remember what the price was on it. And I couldn't, it was because of the height, I couldn't do it one-handed. <laughs> so unfortunately, I can't tell you what the price was on that. But check out these little guys. I thought this was such a neat pattern. It reminded me of something. I just couldn't put my finger on what it was that it reminded me of. Do you guys know what that is? And look at this little, I believe this is a little homemade piece. I thought it was really neat. Um, very hard to hold on to, uh, but I thought it was really cool. And there were a pair of these vases. They were stunning.
So this is when I made the second trip back to the Goodwill where I had started filming with my mom. Um, and this is back at my favorite shelf. You can see it turns over quite a bit. Salt and pepper shakers are always there, um, you know, but they turn over quite a bit as well. So I, I just love this shelf <laughs> at this particular Goodwill. Holy smokes, do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see what I see? Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> I really loved this tray, but wait to see what's behind it. <laughs> Check it out, an antique toaster. Oh my gosh, I love this thing so, so much. I had to clear the way to look at this tray. This tray is just massive. Um, and would be so good for entertaining, especially at Christmas time. I always say that because I love throwing trays together for Christmas time. Um, but I just wanted to check it out. And there's some cookie molds, all kinds of them over here. I have been seeing them a lot lately. I really want more cast iron pans, but this, this Goodwill always has a bunch of them, but they're always so marked up. And a couple of vintage irons. Now, I don't believe that other iron goes on the base. <laughs> Do you see this? But they had it all taped together. I don't understand that, but <laughs> okay. And this right here is why I always check the bins at the Goodwill. Look at all of this Pyrex. Now this stuff is so beat up. It's just beat up. But I kind of love it and I kind of don't want to leave it behind. <laughs> Look at that poor boy. And more gorgeous art glass. Please, somebody tell me about this bowl because this thing is so cool. You will not believe the price that they are asking for this sewing machine. And wait, $149 and the machine isn't even in it. <laughs> what? I don't understand that at all. But these prints were stunning. They were so pretty. If you guys, if only I had more wall space, I have been, you know, I've been collecting my gold frames for quite a while so I can do my gallery walls and I've been waiting patiently since I've painted. I have not put a picture back up on my wall with the exception of the ones that I'm keeping in the kitchen. So I'm waiting patiently, but um, I'm not going to be doing any black frames. Okay, you guys, that was amazing. I found 
good stuff. I was really excited. Holy smokes. <laughs> um, okay. But at the first Goodwill, I went back and I picked up the Lucite candles. <laughs> you, every single one of you, I think, yelled at me for not buying this. And I just like, do I really want to resell them? Um, I'm going to. They don't match exactly. They look like this. They were $3.99 and I got 20% off because today is actually Thursday that I'm thrifting. I don't have my <clears throat> veterans coupon today but I did use a donation coupon. So I grabbed both of the Lucite candles. I'm going to list them in my Etsy shop. I'll probably put, I don't know, $25 for the pair maybe, uh, probably, um, just because you guys all <laughs> yelled at me for not getting them. So I got them um, and they are coppery. Um, they both have copper flakes in them and then this one also seems to have silver and gold in it. And then let's see, this one. So I grabbed both of those. Oh, ooh, God bless. I, I don't like hearing sirens. And then I picked up a pair of vintage embroidered. Oh, I'm, I'll, I'll put in a little clip of these. A br vintage embroidered pillowcases. They are so pretty. Um, I think they are just lovely. And if I don't keep them, I will list them. But you know me, I like to collect vintage pillowcases. So, so pretty. Um, and then, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Okay, I'm gonna save the best for last because I'm so excited about it. I found three red refrigerated dishes. They are in pretty bad shape. They look like this but I was scraping my finger on them and I could see like red underneath, like better shape. So I'm gonna try to polish these up and see if I can't get them cleaned up. They were only $1.99. So I paid $1.40, no, $1.60 for them. And um, I'm going to try to clean them up. If I cannot clean them up, then I will probably just keep the lids because I think it's worth it for the just the spend the money on the lids uh, for those and then I can list the lids you know there's two in this style let's see that style right there and then one in this style so um, for those that collect and have the canisters or the, the refrigerator dishes but not the lids they'll be able to replace the lids so um, that Oh yeah, I almost say that's what I got today. No, I got, I saved the best for last, remember? <laughs> now this thing, I was so excited. I was like, what is that? And then I was like, no way. I have never seen one of these in the wild before. And I was so excited and I am, oh my gosh, I am so excited. Check this out. <laughs> Do you know what this is? This is a vintage toaster. I am going to insert some footage of how it opens up because I can't do it one-handed and in the car, but this is a vintage toaster. It plugs in right there. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. I've seen everybody decorate with vintage scales and stuff. I've never seen anybody decorate with a vintage toaster. So it was $9.99, so I paid $8 for it and it's the uh, Universal brand. Uh, yeah, I am really excited about this. <laughs> How cool that sucker's coming home with me. Now I need to get my linens away from it so my linens don't get dirty. <laughs> okay, so that is what I got out thrifting today, you guys. Thank you guys so much for coming along. I appreciate it so, so much. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll check you later. Bye guys. I thought I would insert a clip of how the Pyrex came out. They are not perfect by any means, but they are at least they are usable for me now. I mean, they're usable before, but they're just not very pretty, right? So I, this was not even the worst one. This one was the worst one. In fact, it was so bad that I didn't even notice that it had a chip at the bottom. Now, 
I I'll bring it in closer so you can see the finish. You can see the finish there. It's not perfect by any means, but it's so much better. And all I used was a little barkeeper's friend. Now this, I decided to go ahead and use because um, it was, you know, it's really bad. So um, this can scratch up your Pyrex just, you know, but if you're not worried, <laughs> I mean, anything's got to be better than this, right? And I also use the magic eraser and I actually use the magic eraser in combination with the barkeeper's friend and it worked really, really well. Sorry about Odin. He is running up and down the stairs. And then because the finish was still kind of dull, you can kind of see even after I treated it, it's a little dull. Um, everything I've read was to buff it with coconut oil but I didn't have any so I just used some extra virgin olive oil and that is all I used to <laughs> take care of these guys um, I won't be selling them because they're you know they're not in perfect shape they are definitely worn but they look so much better than they did and here they are all finished I think they look pretty darn good for my first stab at trying to <laughs> help some old Pyrex uh, gain a little new life. So, yeah, I'm very happy with the outcome. <laughs>